The second thing we have a two cents on here is Kate Blanchett. She got a nomination for Best Actress. I'll start with this one, Fahad, and I think we'll agree on this. It's two cents for me. She absolutely deserves it. She's absolutely magnetic in a movie that is very, very not getting you in there she's the reason you're watching this movie and i think she's great like i haven't seen Kate blanchett and a lot of stuff i mean i've seen her recently in um the del toro movie we reviewed from last year with uh brad uh brad bradley cooper yeah bradley cooper um the the circus one i forget the name it's escaping me right now but i haven't seen her in like a starring role yeah nightmare Mm -hmm. alley so she's like supporting actress she's been in a lot of supporting actress roles and this is like one of the recent ones i would say where she's you know, right in, in the center of the film and the whole thing is based around her. And I think she does a really good job of keeping us along for the ride. It's just unfortunate. Again, like I just, it, it just feels like this could have been a banger for more than just a, a handful of people. And that's what I think is frustrating because you see this performance from her and I, I'm very just whatever on Kate Blanchett, to be honest with you. I know she's renowned in the industry but i'm just i haven't seen enough of her to be like wow she's she's really great this is a film where i see her performance and i go holy shit she's an amazing actress and it just comes in a movie that i didn't super like or you know even really like so it's a weird position to be in but ultimately i do think she deserved the the nomination in my head i'll read to you the nominees so the nominees for best actress are so it's her it's aina uh you know, Anna de Armas from Blonde. <laughs> <laughs> Lena Del Rey. <laughs> Anna de Armas from Blonde. Andrea Riceboro. I'm probably butchering the last name. Uh, two Leslie, Michelle Williams and the Fablemans and Michelle Yeoh and everything everywhere all at once. My probably guess is going to be Kay Blanchett winning this. I haven't seen Blonde and I haven't seen Two Leslie and I haven't seen the Fablemans. It just, this movie feels like LeBron James, here we go again, taking the Cavs to the uh, finals, but losing. And they're getting spanked uh, but, in the finals. Yeah. But, but the the equivalent is the the movie doesn't win Best Picture, but everybody leaves with LeBron James is now like a, an amazing player. And that's yeah. what I left with. Yeah. Kate Blanchett is probably going to win uh, Best Actress for me because she was really good in a movie that I, I don't know how I feel about Super League. But yeah, Fahad, go ahead. Yeah, I think, I think, uh, not getting away from the sports analogies. I think that's a very good kind of reference because we we're kind of talking about this offline before we started. I think the same way that team basically was just built around LeBron to stuff his yeah. stat sheet, like 40 points and he or did whatever. It. Yeah, yeah, and he did a triple-double. A lot of people do get teams built around them and don't do much. Same way a lot of movies are built around these big ticket yeah. actors and they don't really yeah. execute. Where I had kind of mentioned where... Austin Butler is a very good uh, parallel in this situation where yeah. Elvis by itself as a movie is probably not going to win much, right? It's not a movie that's going to win a lot. But uh, Austin yeah. Butler, on the other hand, fully deserves recognition yeah. for what he did yeah. in that movie. This movie was perfectly set up for Kate Blanchett to kind of show all the things that she's good at. There's almost no scene in the movie where her acting gets exposed or where her lines are weird. She's like amazing. And she's like facial acting, insane level facial acting. Also, I was just looking at her thing. Like ironically enough, she was also on don't look up too. So, uh, Oh yeah. Very briefly. She's one of the newscasters. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. She's the one that has tries to have like relations with Leo. Yeah. Doing the thing. Yeah. Tyler Perry's character. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, She's, so no so, no with leo yeah yeah, yeah with leo but tyler perry is the uh co yeah, yeah, yeah yeah so he ends up she ends up making leo's family by like getting with him but uh <laughs> she is like funnily enough like she has been around for a while and like i said i i also haven't watched a lot of her nightmare alley was probably yeah. the last great one thor ragnarok she was pretty solid in yeah but that like and that one you're sharing the screen in like a marvel sponsored kind of like you know, just a factory Man. made movie, like with Chris Hemsworth, <laughs> which just I love, dropping one liners, which <laughs> yeah. which are great. But in this yeah. one, there's no one liners. You need to execute. You need to be great. Yeah. And I think yeah. she was great. I wouldn't be super surprised if she won. I think it's probably going to be a pretty close one between mm-hmm. her and Michelle Yeoh. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I think so. Probably, probably go from there. I said, well, yeah, like just like I think we're on the same boat. I haven't watched two Leslie's, Fablemans, or Blonde. 
I don't even know. I think Fablemans will probably Blonde watch. Blonde, I heard, was dog. Yeah. But apparently, it's, she it's was It's one really of the good. movies. Yeah. It's so, one, so I, oh, I need this. I need to be in a shitty movie where I'm great <laughs> so I can get my bread and y'all can eat shit. That, that's what I need out here. Uh, that's man. what I need out here. Like, it's like, a, like you said, a player who gets a great contract but the team doesn't win. I don't care. My family is fed. So that's the yeah. that's the boat Kate Blanchett will win. I'm, I'm in full agreement. It's two cents for me. I think she does deserve it. I think she puts in a shift. If not for Kate yeah. Blanchett, this movie is low lower than mid this movie if this is a different actress who doesn't execute who yeah, does who just... doesn't do what she needs to do because there's scenes where she flips a switch and turns very cold and there's scenes yeah. where she flips the switch and you really feel bad for her although she's a horrible human being yeah so and that only a great actress can make you feel those emotions for her yeah so uh two cents for me 100 percent